Guys, we messed up. It's for real this time. I think what the hardest part for me has been this year really is I came back from the city. I thought I'd have all these like friends to come back to and I had timid expectations, you know, that we would be able to reconnect and I remember sending out these texts, you know, like, hey, you want to catch up, you know, let's meet up and we'd have these catch up sessions. You know, I started work June 10th and I went until August 10th and within those two months, I spent 42 hours a week working. I had virtually no time for leisure and I had very, very, very little time to myself. And the hardest part for me is we would talk and we'd discuss and these things that were supposed to catch us up to the same point only illustrated to me the distance that was between us, how we were so in these irreconcilable positions from each other. And to see like how far away I was from all these people I had once been my best friends, my closest friends, it was devastating for me. And uh, that's why I haven't been able to come back from that. And I've been walking alone, I've been talking to myself a lot this summer. And so it's been difficult. I was out of touch with who I was. I was out of touch with anything beside work and just getting there on time and leaving at the end of the day. And that, my friends, is textbook dark place. I've been working a lot, and even that hasn't been really easy for me, you know? My greatest customer, you know, you come in every day is Kent, 70 years old. He was sick, I knew he was sick, but I didn't know the disease was that, you know, fatal. And a few days ago, he stopped coming in. You know, every day Ken would sit right here. He'd sit on his bench. And Ken, Ken wasn't a perfect person. He wasn't a hero, he wasn't a saint. But he was who he was. And you know, at the end of the day, he was a friend. He was a friend, he's just another one lost. may not look like a lot from this angle and this distance, but I can assure you when you are inside this restaurant and you are having to cook food and give food out to a line of customers that is to the parking lot and beyond, it's an extremely stressful experience. I guess I need a second. You know, I worked here summer 2019, and I'll tell you, I was in a dark place. All my co-workers, dark places, you know, all I can say is go to college. You know, after losing Kent, I definitely thought a lot about a lot of different things that have happened in my life, my relationships with people, and I think Kent was a sign about the fickleness of life, how quickly these people can be taken away from us. And I know my friends right now, you know, I'm in a dark place. I've lost a lot of them. I really don't know who's with me anymore. And part of that's just because I've grown so far and because we have like so little in common anymore. But I think in his memory, I think I should at least reach out and I think I should at least try and try and do something because I know, I don't know, it just feels right. Hey, Isabel, it's just me. Um, I'm following up because I know we had lunch a few days ago and it was a little awkward. You know, I've just been feeling like I've been growing really distant from a lot of my friends and I don't know where I'm going and I don't know why I'm, I feel this way, but I think at the end of the day, it's like I know in a few days I'm going to be leaving for med school and I know you're going to be still like on the farm working, you know, doing your thing, but I don't know, I thought maybe we could meet up one more time or see each other just for old time's sake or something. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty busy. I don't. I mean, like, this is what I'm talking I about. It's like, I just, I'm the type of person that would make time for my friends. And it's just like, you're very, like, I just, I'm so different. You know, it's, it's upsetting to see that, like, everyone I once was close with, like you, it's just, we don't have anything in common anymore. I don't, I don't think that it's, we don't have anything in common anymore. I think it's just that you're being I think it's like you don't, like, listen to me. It's like these, no one listens to me anymore. And it's just like, I can't even interact with them anymore. And that's just the distance that's between us. It's upsetting. Oh, 
Oh my god, Noah, what you call? This is my old friend. Hey, what's up? Nicholas, how are you? <laughs> we haven't talked in forever. Yes, I know, yeah. I've been a little uh I've been a little lost, you could say, I guess. Uh, I think all of us have. I was just wondering though. I know we haven't talked. But um a couple old people, you know, some old friends, uh and I were having a little gathering for it. And uh we wanted to know if you could make it. It's this Saturday night. Do you think are you in town? You know, I don't know if I'll be able to make it, but you know, I'll see what I can do. I'll definitely let you know. Okay, hope you can make it. Thanks. Bye. Interesting. <laughs> Very interesting.